Rivers shotgun snap, drops to throw, throws into the end zone. Ball intercepted in the end zone. That is Alexander Johnson. Welcome back to Broncos Country tonight, joined by inside linebacker Alexander Johnson. Alexander, thanks for the time, man. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank y'all for having me on. Absolutely. You haven't been diving into any frozen lakes anytime soon, have you? Uh, no, nah, I've been a few months back since I did that. None recently, but, you know, still enjoy my outdoors when I can. Of course, of course. Well, uh, that was one of the, my favorite stories that was ever told by a Bronco on our show, so we obviously appreciated that. Uh, you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, Pro Football Focus actually kind of did a, a little bit of a breakdown of the entire Broncos roster, and they talked about how the inside linebackers probably should get a little bit more love, might even be considered a bit of a strength of this team. What do you think about that? Hey, they, when you break the film down, you know, film don't lie. So, like you said, man, as a whole, man, I feel like me and Ty, we're going we're gonna we're gonna make make the lead and recognize us recognize us more this year. My confidence level is always high will always be high regardless of any situation. But just as far as wise as we having a second year, me being able to play in the defense for a second year, being able to get some few games under my belt and just just be able to flow. I feel like we're gonna communicate a lot better on the field and we, we know the in and out of the defense as a whole. So that right there is just gonna set us above and apart from our gameplay from last year to this year. Speaking of that, going into your second year, uh, historically Vic Fangio defenses, the inside linebackers and just linebackers in general have really thrived. So for you, knowing what you know about this defense last year, what is kind of the next level for you? What is the next level for this team? Pretty much, uh, obviously, I've learned, man, you got you to be able to perform and play as well and as good as you can for your personal self. But – when you plan as good and as possible well you can for yourself, it helps build the team. And so I feel like everybody on the defense, we, we've been having some great days out in practice, moving through stuff, communicating well. So each, each individual player is going to have to play at a high level and perform well for the team to be, the defense to be as uh, strong as possible as it can be. So that's pretty much the biggest thing, man. Everybody out there making plays, everybody out there having fun, enjoying the game, enjoying being out on the field. Uh, the sky's the limit for us as a, as a whole team and for defense. You know, I thought one of your best defensive performances last year was that game against Tennessee. You, co you coincidentally opened the season against the Tennessee Titans this year. Last year, you guys didn't allow Marcus Mariota to even cross the 50-yard line, got him benched and, uh, and ended his career there in Tennessee. You got Ryan Tannehill this year. Jarrell Casey comes over from that Tennessee defense. Has he imparted anything for you guys to be prepared for that first game? Oh. Uh, I don't think we've actually been diving into Tennessee yet, pretty much. We're just getting back. I guess a week we're getting back. And it's really about ourselves. We coming together as a union and learning about ourselves before we start diving into another team. But obviously Jarrell Casey coming over from there, that's a big, big huge thing for us for when we start preparing and start um studying for him. He's gonna give us tips and nuggets for us to like play faster and be able to defend things even better. And obviously last year we shut them out. Obviously it's a different team, but anytime you're able to get a shutout in the NFL, that's huge. And that shows you how we can work together as a unit. For any, any team to get a shutout, your, your unit has to be working together to get a shutout. You mentioned getting out on the practice field. And of course, we're going to see a little bit more of that coming up in the next few weeks with pads coming on. But what has it been like going back to the facility? Vic Fangio earlier this week said, you know, when you're inside the building, it feels very different. But getting out on the practice field actually feels like football. You feel the same way? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, obviously, we got different rules and regulations. We got to abide by when we're inside the building. But once you get on that field, we're on the field. It's football. All the other stuff go, go away. We out there. Often we got to do a different little thing. We're keeping distance and stuff. It's not staying too close to people for too long. But for the most part, we being able, walking on that grass, being being able to be on that field is just a wonderful feeling. You know, it, it kind of leads into my next question here, which is how inconvenient has all these safety measures and everything been? Has it been something that's been tough for you guys to adapt to, or is it just the next thing that you've got to do to get out there and play some football? And at the end of the day, it's, man, it's, it's our job. We want, we want to play some football. Obviously, we're going to have to adjust and adapt to the little, little things they're making us do. But – Man, I just look forward to being able to get out there and play some football and, and compete and, and have fun doing something I love, something I worked my whole life to, to get to, to doing. So, yeah, 
it's, it sucks with the other little stuff, but man, at least we're blessed. At the end of the day, we're blessed and we're still able to be able to play. And I know we're gonna bring we're gonna bring bring enjoyment to other people who have to deal with way worse stuff than what an average NFL guy got to deal with. It's, it's, it's for real, I don't look at it. It's nothing, nothing for me, but it's it's way worse for a lot of other people out here in America. So hopefully, we'll be able to bring a little enjoyment to to those people who who deal with it way worse. Really well said. This is my last question. It comes to mind now, thinking back that you haven't had OTAs and mandatory minicamp, that you haven't had a chance as a defensive player to really put the pads on and smack other guys. I mean, that's something you do for a living. Uh, how different is that going to be, this, this long stretch? And now all of a sudden, uh, in about a week or so from now, you'll be able to put the pads on. How different is that? Uh, obviously, um, it's been, it been some good, good, good and positive behind it. So I uh, just had a new baby girl, so I've been able to spend a lot of time with my newborn baby girl. So I'm like, shoot, I'm cool. Like, if we keep the schedule next year where we get to come back this late and I can spend time with my family and stuff like that, I'm cool with that. But the other spectrum of it is, is like we said, we, we haven't been able to get together as a unit and we've got a shorter period of time to gel and bond. But for the, for the most part, I feel like just walking around the locker room and being on the practice field, I feel like everybody been been doing their job for when this time came, we can hit the ground rolling and running. And when we do get the pads on, man, I'm, I'm excited and ready. Like, I ain't trying to go kill none of my team, man, but it's going to be feeling good to be able to butt up and shock some guys. I leave me from, like, really trying to lay somebody out for when I play the game. But it's, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be feeling good. And I, I can't wait for it. It's, it's just different. We have to strap that chin strap up and you know, you got to get up, get out there and go hit some people. And, and that's, that's, what you, I, that's what I love doing, man. I love playing this game, and that's part of it. You got a new Raptor Roar for us this year? Uh, I don't know about a new one, but, you know, me, I'm going to come with all different crazy stuff. You know, I'm going to go out there, have fun, and enjoy every moment of it. I know you will. Alexander, thanks so much for the time, man. really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a good one.